Hey guys and welcome back in video number two of the worst engines in automation. To make it simple, uh, in this series I'm gonna use the same specs on all the engines. For a start, uh, as you as you all remember, I I made a, an inline three engine before with a with same with same as you can see specs here, and I'm gonna keep copying all the specs on all the engine to see what kind of result we will get. Uh, as you can see, it's an inline four this time, a cast iron block. Uh, remember, the family capacity is or will be always the same as this one, 68.3 millimeter on the on the bore, and uh, 91. 0.1 millimeter on the stroke, so all of the engines always will be a stroker engine, as you can see. And uh, of course, the capacity will be different from an engine to another engine because of the numbers of cylinders and uh, yes, the number of cylinders and the size of the engine. So the bore and stroke will always be the same, but the capacity will will change. Uh, the head and valves will all be will always be push rods because they are the cheapest to make. Cast iron heads, of course. Cast uh, cast internals, as you can see, minus 15. And uh, the the compression will always be around 6, 6.2, or a little bit more. This time, I only managed to max the compression ratio at its lowest settings, which is 6.0 to 1. Uh, the cam profile is 27, no VVT, minus 15, naturally aspirated. And again, the uh, the fuel system will be always single point EFI because it's, it's the cheapest EFI you can have in automation today. A uh, single throttle body performance intake. It, the intake will always be performance because it will make a, a, an awesome sound and it will give the engine more fuel efficiency and it will give it higher service cost will, which will make the people hate it and that's the whole point of the worst engine in the world and uh, of course the the fuel type will always will always be 80 octane fuel the, the, the cheapest and the lowest quality fuel ever available on earth these days and in automation 13.01 or 13.0 which is the fuel mixture it will be different from an engine to engine according to the to the knocking or the compression ratio, it will be different sometimes, or it will be similar. This this point is very variant according to each engine. The ignition timing in this engine is 39, and uh, the uh, the RPM limit is at 5,000. In other engines, it will maybe lower or higher. I'm not sure, but this time is 5,000, like the inline three minus 15, and uh, the exhaust will always be cast log. The exhaust diameter will be variant according to each engine. A single exhaust for all engines, even V engines, and uh, no catalytic converters and no mufflers and minus 50. So the final result is, as you can see, it's 40 horsepower instead of uh, 30 horsepower in the inline three, and it's th this time it, it's 61.8 pound-feet of torque instead of 45 pound-feet of torque in the inline three. And uh, actually, for, actually forgot what kind of reliability we got on the uh, on the line three, but this time it's 56. Near similar or nearly similar fuel economy to the inline three. It's smooth. It's loud. It doesn't have really that, that much throttle response. And uh, I remember that the inline three used to be 79 kilograms, and this one is 96 kilograms. Yes, this of course this one is heavier. Has an extra cylinder. The engineering time is is uh, we call it, is less in the inline three, and then of course the inline four engine is more complex to make. There is an an extra cylinder. Now let's hear this bad boy because it sounds amazing. It sounds really amazing. Let's listen to it.
this is the engine then it sounds amazing and it looks amazing too it doesn't really look that bad and uh, as you can see these are the, all the results so it's this one is a quick video I mean all of the uh, of the worst engines and automation all of the videos will, will be a quick quick videos not really that long videos so thank you so much guys for watching this has been uh, this is a uh, this is the worst online for engine automation so thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you with another video very very soon and goodbye.